Hello scientists and welcome to how to calculate the angle of impact of a drop of blood for our blood spatter unit. So to begin, we need to know the equation for how to calculate the angle of impact. For us, it's inverse sine, so sine minus one, of width divided by length. Just a reminder that every time the width will be the smallest number. So by using this equation and by measuring each blood drop, we'll be able to calculate it. So I made some blood spatter. And the tools you will need for this are a ruler or a straight edge, and then I use a protractor that measures in millimeters, so it's really easy to see. Remember with millimeters, we're not measuring by the big full numbers, those are centimeters. Millimeters are each tick. So with one centimeter, we have 10 millimeters. Two centimeters is 20, and so on. So next you're going to find a blood drop of your choice, and when you're measuring a blood drop, it's important to acknowledge that we're not going to be measuring the tail of it as well. We just want the body of the blood drop. When measuring the, the body of the blood drop, I like to box off the main portion of the blood drop so I know not to include the tail. So you're going to take your protractor, you're going to line it up at the zero line not at the edge of the ruler because that's going to not be accurate. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you all can see. So you're going to measure straight through the middle. We don't want to measure up here. We don't want to measure all the way down here. Straight through the middle. And what I see is 22 millimeters. So that's our length, 22 millimeters. Don't be afraid to mark up your page. We're going to write both length and width. I know that this is length because this is way longer than the width. But some blood drops, it's really hard to tell. So again, we're just going to measure straight through the middle. I've got about 9 millimeters. When you're doing this, when you're trying to find the angle of origin, uh, or the point of origin and the angle of impact, uh, you need to do this on a ton of different blood drops. This is just the first one. So let's get our calculators out. Later, which yes, you can use your phone for this. Uh, just make sure you have your phone tilted sideways for the full calculator. You'll need the scientific part as well. We're going to follow that equation. So I've got nine and 22, just a reminder. So we're going to do nine divided by 22 equals, but we're not done yet because we need to get the inverse sine of it. So second sine, our blood drop hit at an angle of 24.15 degrees if we round it up. So on that paper, the angle is 24.15. And there you have it. Maybe wondering, what about the really tiny blood drops? Do I have to measure those? Most cases, you're going to have tiny blood drops to work with. So again, you're not gonna include the tail, just the body. You're gonna take your protractor to measure. Start at the zero. The length of this one is much smaller than the last one. So I have one, two, three, four for the length four millimeters, always put your units. And the width, we're gonna rotate it. Looks like it's about two millimeters. So now we need to find that angle. Let's do some math. We've got our width divided by our length, two divided by four. And then our inverse sine, we got 30 degrees. Not every single one is going to be the same because 
maybe there was more than one hit. Uh, maybe it came from a different angle from a different source. Um, we never know. So we want to get as many blood drops measured as possible for it to be as accurate as possible. Once you have enough of these measured, I do not. You would need probably about eight to be accurate. Uh, you're going to take your ruler or any long straight edge that you have and you're going to start finding the lines of convergence. Lines of convergence is just like it sounds, where the lines converge. So you wanna measure straight through the middle or uh, axis of the blood drop, straight through the tail. And don't be afraid to make your lines super long. We also wanna know the direction the blood is moving and the tail tells the tail it tells you what direction it's going. This one has a tail pointing that direction, meaning the blood is moving this way. An object in motion stays in motion, so when it hits the paper, it's gonna keep going in the way it was going. So I'm gonna keep doing that. This one has a really good tail. It's pointing this direction. This one, it's pointing this direction. this direction. Uh, you might start to see a pattern. See another one right here next to it. So from what I'm seeing, here's another little one right here in the middle. Looks like our area of convergence is where? Right about here, that's our point of origin. By the end of this video, you should understand how to measure the length and width of each blood drop using a protractor. You should also know what direction blood is moving based on the tails. And you should also know how to find the lines of convergence and thus the point of origin. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you need. And as always, I'm here if you have any questions. Here is the angle of impact equation. And we got this, guys. We are forensic scientists.